Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the dark again, aren't I? It's probably this hat. So, uh, arrived Thursday, been up to the store, picked up a new pump to replace the one that failed on us just before the new year. Wonderful stuff. All these bad boys were going to get filled today, but unfortunately, as you can hear with the fan blowing in the background, we're down to temperature with two of these tanks. As you can see, FV3 is down to four degrees, which is perfect. And FV1 is about there. But FV2 has still got some ways to go. And of course, because the temperature directly impacts the clarity of the beer, I don't think we're gonna be quite ready to cask yet. So I'm gonna put that off till tomorrow. And uh, instead, what we're gonna do is finish off this timber work. So I'm gonna go and uh, have a drive around to Stu's, get him up because he went to see Manchester City with Dominic last night, which was nice for him to take him over there. 9 0, I believe the win was for him. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go and wake him up. We didn't get back till 2 a.m. And uh, I'm going to jump in the van and cruise across to the wood yard. And we're going to pick up some uh, three sheets of 18 mil and two. No, two sheets of 18 mil and three sheets of 9 mil ply, which will allow us to continue and hopefully finish off our shelving project. Well, that's the wood yard done. Stu's loaded up. I'm just trying to back out without using my mirrors properly. There you go, lad. There we go, look. Get into this puddle here. How's that? Oh, I've freaking done it, bud. I'm in field now. Woohoo! Timber in the bag, so uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit today. I don't normally stop for any breakfast or lunch, but I think we're going to go into town, pick up some food, something a little bit different today, and uh, then we'll come back and work on this timber. I'm back, I'm refueled, I'm ready to go. The first job that we're going to do today is tackle the air quality. Something more complicated. So. So while I was in here yesterday working, I noticed that the air was filled with dust. Even the brewery was filling it with dust while I was cutting the shelving. So what I'm gonna do is take this fan, which you might remember from earlier episodes of the vlog, way back in maybe last January, February or March, and we're gonna put it into a boxed unit mounted with some loose wee foam in the back to capture the dust out of the air and it's going to be an air filter to clean the air in the shop we're going to mount it up on the wall and uh, it's going to be on whenever we're using the circular saw so we're going to see if we can get that done before we cut any more timber for any more shelving
Project completed. So I still need to make up some frames really for that. I've got lots more of the filter material. It'd be nice to pull a filter out and put them in, but basically all I've done at the moment is just layer all of the uh, filter sheets at the back of the mesh. I've used like uh, all the spare fan stuff to create a mesh so I can't pull that filter material into the fan then I've laid about six sheets on it and it seems to be working it really does seem to be working so uh, if I can change those out for frames with their own mesh like chicken wire and a sheet on then I can take them outside and blow them off with a compressor pull them back in it's mounted there so I can get to the back of it I can climb up on a chair or some steps and get to the back it's obviously open at the back to allow the uh, the dust through and this is the filter material it's basically pond filter you can see it's not very thick but it's just enough you can see it's already caught bits of dust and stuff off the floor it's just enough I think to grab the dust out the air Whew, yes job ticked off I've been meaning to do that for a year so what I'm gonna do now is clear the workshop shut the doors and run the table saw to cut the uh, the basis for these drawers it is five o'clock though I'm signing off gents it's half past six I really love that it's amazing Check this, one of the drawers, look at that, works a beauty, get in there boy. So uh, make up the rest of the drawers tomorrow, I'll wax all the runners, we should have a nice easy slide in slide out situation going on there, but you can really kind of see what it's going to look like when it's finished, I think it's going to look the most freaking nuts, all of this tool storage look. And all here, big nine inch drawer, six inch drawer, six inch at the bottom of there to go in. That's what this is for. That's gonna go in, in there. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's gonna look the absolute nuts. So we'll just turn the air cleaner off. Oh yes. Now we're freaking talking. I'm over the moon with all these little toys that I've managed to put together. It's been a long time of coming, folks. It's been a long time coming. But finally, we've got the air cleaner in. We've got the table saw working seamlessly. Once I've got all those tools into the correct storage positions, well, we'll be making some furniture for the beer garden with this. This timber and uh, that's going to form the tabletops and also this timber down here this is more of the stuff that I got from Chesterfield when we went over to see Tom and he managed to wangle it off a mate of his check it all of that so once we're casked and once these uh, workshop upgrades are complete we'll be ready to go 
and start building some proper stuff. Gems, USB cables, fancy panthers. Um, that's a little one. That's skipping rope. a skipping rope one, yeah. So Abby can uh, have a tablet on charge. And uh, there's another one up here as well, which is in between us. Are you bringing them all? Or yeah, we'll take them all home. All right then, we'll see you African tomorrow.